Kujambo mtazamaji na karibu katika ile sehemu na ipenda sana makala ya wako wapi ambapo tunatembea tunakuletea wale watu waliobobea ambao huwaoni ni jukumu letu kuwaleta kwako. Kazi yako tu ni kuuliza fulani alienda wapi kama jinsi mlivyouliza Philip Masinde aliyekuwa waziri wa leba alienda wapi na basi tumesafiri hadi Busia nyumbani kwake kumtafuta tuambia kwa wapi na anafanya nini na basi yuko hapa atatueleza jinsi hali ilivyo maisha yalivyo siasa ilivyo kwa sababu amekuwepo bungeni vile vile kama mbunge kwa miaka kumi na bila shaka anafahamu siasa vilivyo na mheshimiwa karibu sana haya ni makala yako wapi wa Kenya wamekuwa wanatuandikia wanatuuliza bwana Philip Masinde alienda wapi sasa anafanya nini mtazamo wake kuhusiana na siasa ni upi tukawaambia tutawatafuta tutakutafuta na ndio maana tumefika hapa na tunasema asante sana basi wape jibu uko wapi siku hizi unafanya nini yes uh, nilipoanza siasa nilipoacha siasa uh, wananchi wangu ambao walikuwa wamenipeleka huko walisema nirudi nilime nawa kwa hivyo nikaona hakuna haja ya mimi kukaa town ijapokuwa nilikuwa na kasi mingi ningefanya huko. Mm-hmm. Ili nibidi nirudi kulima na hawa. Watu mm-hmm. wakasema mheshimiwa sasa rudi tu alime na sisi na tunye changana e. Mm-hmm. Nikaambia nitarudi kulima lakini changana tajifunza kunywa kesho. Mm-hmm. Uh, haven't learned sijawahi kujifunza kunywa changana yetu. Mm-hmm. But uh, for the past 20 years since tangu uh, niache bunge ninakaa hapa na hawa. Lakini niko na kazi nyingi ambayo ninafanya sijawahi kukaa tu na kukimia. niko involved kwa kazi za community. Mimi beleni nilikuwa mwalimu nilikuwa najuana na watu wengi nilikuwa na siku hizo za ukolo nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya community na wananchi. Ana nilipotoka siasa ningali niko na hiyo nimejishughulisha nayo. E, kwa sasa mimi niko chairman wa Western Kenya Region Elders Council. E, chairman wangu akiwa Mr. Rotere kutoka Meru. So um, uh, ningali niko na kazi. Yeah. Uli tangu utoke bungeni ni miaka ishirini sasa. Tumeona baadhi ya wanasiasa wakitoka wakikaa nje kidogo tena wanapata hamu ya kurudi bungeni. Kwa wanasema mtu akikuwa mwanasiasa atakuwa mwanasiasa milele. Je, kwa nini wewe ulitoka na ukatoka kabisa? Niliingia bunge 1988 nikiwa miaka 55. Mm-hmm. Na nikakaa huko for 10 years miaka 10. Mm-hmm. Nilitoka bunge mwaka wa 1997. So kufuatana na vile naangalia mwenendo huko bunge ya sasa ni ya vijana na vile mambo inaenda mzee kama mimi nikiangalia na kuona ile ambayo inaonekana kwa TV hata kwa bunge yenyewe uh, nilijipima nikaona i can't fit kwa congregation ya ida hiyo afadhali afadhali nikae kando wale ambao wanataka mwana mawaida wanakuja na ninawapatia ma, ma, mawaida ya bure yeah. i don't charge for my advice mm-hmm. lakini atinirudi huko nani atasikiza wazee kama sisi because wasiku hizo wanafikiria wazee ubongo umeoza they have no, nothing to offer mm-hmm. so um, naona niko uh, a happy person niko na furaha kuwa hapa na kuzungumza na uh, wananchi umezungumzia kwa bungeni je ukiangalia bunge la sasa na bunge la awali wewe ukiwa mbunge ama ubunge wakati huo na wa sasa je kuna tofauti ikiwa iko uh, uh, jambo ambalo lina touch uh, nation kama hii IPPG watu wengi wanazungumza juu yake tulipotua tukisogesha kwa, kwa on the floor Obu, uh, odinga ginga ginga ndiye ali, ali, ali second mm. siku hizi nafikiri mambo kama hayo haiwezekani at uh, watakao na huyu wa second mwingine kwa ile uh, jambo ambalo lina husu wananchi ni kungangania tu parties na, na nini mm-hmm. tena hii ha, ha, hawana utulivu 
e, jambo kidogo ni kupigana in public sasa ukiwa kiongozi na ngumi ndizo siko mbele unaongoza watu gani una, una, unasaidia tu watu ku, 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 ku you can't reform them and na hiyo kwa hiyo hata mp wa sasa ni vigumu kupatia mtu advice if he, uh, uh, mugomo ikitoka is, is on the forefront on the street eh hata wamefundisha watoto vijana wajukuu wangu na watu gani unaona wakubwa walimu wako kwa street vijana pia na watoto wanasema haki yetu wanafuata walimu wao kwa sasa siasa watu wanazungumzia vyama niko katika chama fulani muungano fulani je miungano ya kisiasa ama vyama vya kisiasa wakati ule vinatofautiana na sasa eh, tofauti eh, eh, iko kwa maana vyama hata mbele ya ya, 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 ya uhuru kulikuwa na vyama vingi kulikuwa vyama vingi kubwa zilikuwa kanu na kadu Okay kidogo kidogo kulikuwa mapigano huku na huku lakini watu walikuwa wanakaa wazee wanakaa wanasikizana kanu na kadu walikuwa wanakaa na kuzigizana Saa hii okay saa siku zangu nilizokuwa huko for the first five years nilikuwa kwa chama moja kimoja kanu Na mimi hata hata saa hii mimi ningali na nafuata sera zilikuwa za kanu tu kwa maana kanu walikuwa na very beautiful manifestos japokuwa implementation ndio ilikuwa problem lakini saa hii vyama vimekuwa vitu vya biashara vyama ni havina individual uh, sera you know individual manifestos ni kuibana tu huyu anafanya hii ila anafanya angalia hii mambo kama uh, ile ya kusema uh, uh, education itakuwa free jubilee anasema itakuwa free uh, january mwingi hao wengine wanasema itakuwa free from immediately from september wamekwisha kwa nini wanadanganya watu ambao wanataka kutumikia kwa maana hii pesa ambazo zinataka hizi hizi siko tayari kwa 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 project mean kwa budget au hasiko kama hasiko hivi kwa nini wa, wanaambia watu tu wanaambia watu wanajua wanaambia uongo na wanasema hivyo sasa wanafundisha hata watoto ku, kuendelea na mambo ya uongo na hiyo i feel uh, i think des kuna mengi ambayo tunaweza ambia wetu wetu kwa ukweli bila kuweka uongo in order kushinda mimi vile ninaangalia mambo ya vyama eh, vyama yuko kama eh, chombo cha kuwapeleka watu kwa bunge hasa vile independence imeingia watu watumie vyama lakini wasitumie wasianze kusema lazima ufuate hii chama na ukiwa ni wa hii chama lazima kila mtu awe kutoka grassroots mpaka huko kwa hiyo chama that is okay voluntarily lakini hiyo inaleta hasama rais mustafa ulifanya naye kazi muda mrefu daniel arap moi je unaweza sema nini kumhusu uhusiano wenu ulikuwa vipi sababu so, kuna baadhi ambao pengine uhusiano wao haukuwa mzuri je wewe na yeye mlihusiana vipi well mzee uhusiano uh, wangu na yeye uh, mimi najifuna kwa sababu mimi ni, aliniweka kwa uh, ministry ambayo ilikuwa special kuhusiana na watu na kuhusi, ku, kuhusiana na uh, uh, wafanyi kazi na matajiri na wao ndio wanaleta utajiri na development hapa Kenya japokuwa watu wengi walifikiria ah ministry of labor haikukuwa mahali ya kulala lakini nilikuwa na bahati kwa sababu mbeleni nilikuwa kwa government nilikuwa kama labor officer nilipoingia huko moya alijua ninaweza hiyo kazi na kani yake huko for 10 years bila kutransfer mimi kunipeleka mahali popote 
na nilifanya kazi yangu vizuri ni, ni kwa ofisi yake nilikuwa naenda kumbrief tu vile ninaendelea au ananiita hivi na hivi lakini mimi ninaweza sema nilifanya kazi vizuri sana na yeye at occasionally alikuwa ananiita kabarak on weekend ninaenda natoka nyumbani hapa au niko kule natetemeka mzee ananiitia nini nimefanya nini au ministry yangu iko namna gani nikienda huko anasema eh e, pili kaa chini e, tunakunywa chai pamoja na wa, mimi na yeye nilitumia hiyo ministry kutumikia wananchi sikutaka ku grab uh, vile unaona i'm living a humble life here I, I, i have nothing else to show you apart from what you are seeing here na udonga bao baba aliniachia labda huko uh, you have never you nyinyi muko watu wa maka, magazeti bado kusoma kusema masinda alikuwa involved in hii na hii and yet i was in charge of NS, nssf i'm a happy man and uh, I feel quite comfortable between myself and my god kwa maana hiyo mambo ya ufisadi I had the opportunity kuwa mmoja lakini Mungu alinisaidia nikapita kando kidogo yeah so ulikuwa waziri wa leba kwa miaka mingi sana najua unafuatilia jinsi mambo yalivyo sasa kuna migomo mingi je unaona kwamba wizara ya leba sasa ama waziri wa leba ambaye yuko sasa anatekeleza majukumu yake ipaswavyo no eh, unfortunately siku zangu zilikuwa tofauti kidogo wamegeuza eh, wamegeuza eh, i mean the laws now kulikuwa na classifications kulikuwa na watu ambao hawezi kwenda kwa eh, kwa mugomo kama madaktari kama polisi kama Uh, group kidogo kidogo hawa especially madaktari na polisi saa hii kila mtu madaktari wanaenda mgomo uh, na tena siku hizo kulikuwa na straight forward agreement ukisha uh, sign a cba this uh, collective uh, uh, bargaining agreement ili nibidi kama kuna matatizo tunafuata hiyo ndiyo nilikuwa naitana kama wa report dispute inaita collective agreement ni some naita the two parties na kuambia mlikubaliana na hii tufuate hii hata serikali ikiwa ndiyo iko kosefu nitawaambia hapana hii we are breaking the law ambayo wafanyikazi na sisi tulikubaliana ikiwa ni employers nitawaambia employers this is not right na tena industrial court ilikuwa under me na whatever ilikuwa passed on industrial court there was no appeal siku hizo mimi kama labor man, uh, minister nilikuwa na uwezo niki declare uh, 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 mgomo illegal lazima wafuate wasipofuata nitaambia police kushika the leaders na kwenda ku prosecute i had those powers sijui kama bado siku so eh, yangu ilikuwa straight straight forward thing na muhimu na ile ambayo imepitishwa na uh, industrial court inapitishwa you know east african airways i mean kenya airways wali uh, ma pilots wali kuja waka, wakapewa na industrial court serious increment right up wakadetwa kwa about 200,000 shillings mushara a month the CEO ambaye alikuwa mzungu akaja akasema this is impossible hatuwezi kulipa hii kwa maana hii kwa maana hii this uh, muti yako wa, wa, wa court alifanya nini kamwambia court is final kwenda ulipe alipokuwa karibu anaamuka anasema mimi sitalipa nikasema usipolipa nitakushtaki na nitaambia askari waje washike wewe alipokuwa akitoka by secretary this place alifunga mdanga na ananitukana this bastard secretary aliniambia alipokuwa anatoka lakini alianza paka kulipa I would 
beg because we are talking about this Goma uh, Nanini. Our nurses, all people, our doctors, were nurses who are on strike warudi kasini. The people what wamba wanaumia ni wananchi. They are not striking against the government. Who is the government? The executive, uh, the president and these ministers in our engineer or chin, permanent secretaries. Nani anaenda ku ku kwa hospitali za uma ku kutafuta ma 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 matabibu. They are feeling nothing. The person who is feeling the burden ni mwananchi ambaye what one represent. In a matter now, now soon. One time, I think I was watching TV. He knew what to do when he was a man. Nakuru, kulikuwa na mtu anaonekana na kufa apo kwa kwa desk kwa desk ya nalala apo. Doctor ya natoka kuofisi anangalia hivi na naenda. Ata nili fikiria ile mambo ya Bible ni kase ma huyu ndiye yule aliona mtu abaya alikuwa saved na siju anaitwa nani good samaritan and the pharisees siju wanaangalia tu na anapita mtu anaumia i feel very sorry for the mwananchi tuzungumzie siasa ya kitaifa sasa kuna miungano kuna nasa kuna jubilee je umeridhika na utendakazi wa serikali ya jubilee kwa hii miaka ambayo imekuwa serikalini where, where have you ever had umewahi kusikia wapi serikali America Uingereza ambayo mtu anasema meridhika na serikali 100% Hakuna hata America you know you people show us Trump is trumping up there huko America huko uh, Uingereza may is in trouble so it's, it's not uh, it's not an issue but let, let, let us be sensible. Me, as a, as a, as a, a member, a leader of, of the Wazis, in my, and in my, in, in, in my constitution of the Wazis, Nsema, we will work with the government of the day. Kama kuna makosa fulani quietly to Tawambia, to keep our nafasi ya kuonana na hawa. At our age, as we say, it's not for us to be shouting uh, on the hilltops how the government is doing poorly and what and that. The government cannot be doing poorly 100%. The last maiko vitu fulani ambayo sirikali mefanya vizuri. That is my view. Kwa hakuna siri, hata wale ambayo, okay, ikiwa hiyo jubili, hata NASA, kwanza NASA. What is the difference? They have all been in the various governments to know you are. All of them, including me. This is the last year of What are you going to say about the last year of 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 the last Watu wanasema, watu wanasiyasa ndiyo wanasema hiyo. Hiyo si kweli ya tuwamegawanyika. Wanasiyasa wakiwa wateso ndiyo wanasema waluya wanatudulumu. Wakiwa waluya ndiyo wanasema wateso hawatuendezi vizuri. That, that, that is not a fact. Mimi nilikuambia wateso na waluya hatujawahi kupigana. Hasa sisi ambayo who are sharing busia. Hatujawahi kupigana. My own wife is a Mteso, a daughter of a colonial chief, Alexander Papa. I have lived with her for 60 years. I have no problem with the Tesos. And I don't think the, the, the Baha'i or the, the sub-tribe I belong to have any problems with the Tesos because they have intermarried seriously. Me, me, me as a Muse, I cannot stand on the platform and say chagua huyu, chagua huyu. I will be choosing for them. All ni ndawambia ni kusema hivi. Muangalie mutulete mutu ambaye atatuletea development. Na haa watu wanasa waambiwe. They should not just say tutaweka 45% or 50%. 
for to, to go to counties watu ambie pia ya kwamba watafuata kuhakikisha hiyo pesa inafanya kazi both of them nas and jubilee wameanguka kwa maana these uh, counties have not developed and they are being manned by nasa and jubilee mawaidha ya mwisho kauli tukiingia hasa katika uchaguzi mkuu tarehe 8 agosti imekaribia sana wito wako kwa wakenya na hasa viongozi ni upi wito wangu ni kwamba viongozi waendeshe campaign ya amani isia ku ku, 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 ku head speech iwe eliminated kabisa wauze sera sao na waambie watu ukweli so watafute kura kwa amani na wa unite watu kama wanatafuta kura wasiseme maneno ambayo iko sweet ambayo wanataka watu kusikia na wanajua hiyo maneno hawati hiyo mambo hawatatimiza kwa maana within a five years move very fast and they will be victims in in, 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 a, in a hundred days time so amani tunataka hate speech iwe eliminated was in involve uh, vijana kwa hii reckless fighting huku na huku siku za 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 campaigns a good mp should never encourage uh, a fracas during his campaign time or even during his time a good mp wants to be a leader of healthy people I think the problem with the, the Kenyans is most of these fellows who shout the big the big people and so on they have good money they go to good, good hospitals and so on they have not lost their beloved ones members of the family most of them have not lost members of the family somebody who has lost a member of the family would hesitate to encourage other people to go on losing their members I lost my son here it was accident alikuwa na drive kutoka uh, kwa du, kwa maduka I mean, kwa town kuja hapa si ati amekufa accident inje huko ilikuwa hapa on this road you have passed this morning uh, just lost balance we don't know whether he was avoiding to knock somebody along this path here na akagonga muti na akafungika huku tukatoa tukampeleka na ndege kutoka Kisumu kufika Nairobi akao hospital for two weeks na kafa I know what it means and I'm sure some MPs or members of parliament or this one as yasa who may not have lost their their children and perhaps have lost them now they know what it means losing a member of the family so they should look at the mamas the parents of these children of these fellows they incite to cause problems to die they are doing a great harm to the families they want to to, to represent 1983 nikaanguka i held my patience na watu wakaniambia hapana jaribu tena now to, we give you the last chance nikasema okay last chance munipigie kura si kusema tu munipatie i don't fail because uh, i want i fail because hamunipigii kura the third term the third term, th time that is 88 when nipigia kwa fujo na nikaingia yeah so eh we should not uh, personalize these positions unakuja na unaenda unaachia wengine na Kenya dasa maendelee na tunataka kuacha Kenya better Kenya than we left it and we can naam shukran sana mheshimiwa kwa muda wako tumeshukuru sana kukutupokea na kuweza kuzungumza nasi karibu na mtazamaji tumezungumza naye mheshimiwa Philip 
John Wanyama Masinde hapa katika kaunti ya Busia. Na shukran sana kwa kuweza kujumuika nasi. Wapo kuna yeyote ambaye ungetaka kujua kwa wapi anafanya nini basi wasiliana nasi kupitia mtandao wa Twitter at KTN News at KTN Kenya au at Mary Kilobi au tuma ujumbe mfupi kupitia nambari 22155 ni jukumu letu kuweza kuwatafuta. Mimi ni Mary Kilobi, kwaheri kwa sasa.